Hi, I'm Anka Todrick, cookbook author, recipe developer, and mom of five, including two teens. Cooking with teens isn't just about whipping up meals. It's about creating a space for family connection in the kitchen. Join me as we explore the joys and challenges of cooking with teenagers, helping you navigate those tricky adolescent years. Whether you're looking for recipe ideas or just ways to connect with your growing kids, this show has something for you. The real recipe is quality time together. Now let's get cooking. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Teens, the podcast where we turn everyday kitchen moments into something meaningful. And that sounds so cheesy, but it is true and maybe a little fun. We're almost done with our cooking short series. There is just one more episode, and then we're back to our normal program, back to school, and lengthier episodes. I'm Anka, your guide on this culinary adventure or journey. And today we're diving into something that's both ridiculously easy and Instagram worthy smoothie bowls. But not just any smoothie bowls. These are the ones that'll keep your athlete team fueled and ready to conquer the world or at least their next workout. If you're like me, you've got a teen who recently decided they're the next big thing in sports and nutrition. And by decided, I mean they've actually done their homework. I'm talking research, meal planning, a kitchen scale, the whole nine yards. So today we're going to chat about how to build smoothie bowls that not only look pretty, but also pack a serious nutritional punch without any added sugar. Because apparently sugar is now the enemy. So let's get into it. With a little side note that my 15-year-old is now, oh, so sad. My boy who made me fried chicken every week has now decided that that is no longer part of his culinary repertoire. And now he is going sugar-free and fried food free and basically all taste free. Maybe not. I'm being a little dramatic, but I am going to be supportive, which is why I have this podcast episode. I am proud of him. He's very disciplined and he has been making himself smoothie and smoothie bowls. And I thought, what a great idea for this episode. So. Let's get into it. First up, the basics. If you ever thought, hey, a smoothie is good, but what if I could eat it with a spoon and make it way more complicated? Then smoothie bowls are for you. But in all seriousness, they're actually a fantastic way to sneak in a ton of nutrients, especially if your teen is on the go, training hard, and needs something that's more than just a quick fix. Plus, they really are endlessly customizable. You can just throw anything that's been wilting in the fridge and still end up with something great in the end. And so I've got three recipe ideas. He's very much into packing in protein. So we're trying to figure out other ways besides just downing six eggs at once. So first up is a protein power smoothie bowl. This is for like the serious athlete who needs a meal that's going to keep them strong. The base is Greek yogurt. Then you add a scoop of your favorite protein powder. Vanilla works great here. It's my favorite flavor, but there's so many out there. Next, toss in some frozen berries. They really add a ton of flavor, natural sweetness, without the need of all that added sugar. You can add a splash of unsweetened coconut milk, almond milk, even regular milk is fine. And the whole thing about smoothie bowls is then you pour it in a bowl and you top it with toppings to make it pretty. So sliced almonds, chia seeds, maybe a handful of like fresh berries. This is a really great post-workout meal that will have your teen ready to tackle the rest of the day. Gosh, all these puns that I have. The next idea is like a green power smoothie bowl. You start off with a handful of spinach. Spinach is great. It's got iron, it's got fiber, it's green, so you absolutely know it's good for you. You toss that in a blender with half an avocado. It'll make it creamy I promise it won't make it taste weird. And then again, some almond milk or yogurt, just enough to get things moving. And for this one, you can, again, go with chia seeds, hemp hearts for protein. The chia seeds, I think, have fiber. Sliced kiwi because it's so cute and just adds a little bit of acid tangy flavor. And you could put maybe some shredded coconut that's obviously unsweetened. And then finally... There's a tropical smoothie bowl or a tropical bliss bowl. I'm trying to come up with cute names, but they're kind of cheesy. Frozen mango is the star here. 
It's super sweet and creamy without any added sugar. So you add that to a blender with some coconut milk. You add a dash of turmeric, which not only adds that pretty yellow color, but it's great for inflammation. You blend it up smooth. And with this also, you can top with unsweetened coconut flakes, a sliced banana, even though I'm not a banana fan, but everyone else's sprinkle of flax seeds. And there you go. My son, who, by the way, is basically a nutrition scientist at this point, has been all about optimizing his meals. So we're talking about protein, healthy fats, the whole deal. And smoothie bowls are perfect for that because they're quick, they're packed with everything you need. And best of all, it's not loaded with sugar and it is still scorching hot over here. So they've been super refreshing since he's just not going to do any dessert or any treats. So there you have it. Smoothie bowls that'll keep your teen fueled, happy, and maybe even Instagram famous. Not that you really want that for your teen, I guess. I'm still not a huge fan of them, but I can see their appeal more and more as he creates them. I will stick to a smoothie in in a glass with a straw, but they are pretty to look at. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking with Teens. As always, if you try anything, please tag me at the butter table on Instagram. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. See you here next week. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to Cooking with Teens. Make sure to follow the show to catch all the new episodes. I'm also at The Butter Table on Instagram if you want to share your own teen cooking adventures. The good, the burned, and the inedible. Until next time, keep cooking up those conversations.